Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda. We have got sound. We've got sound. We are going to talk to my main squeeze at the moment, Gil, because he should be able to put together something from a transponder we got from a dude that we helped escape from prison for reasons I do not know. Um, we kind of just said, okay, yeah, screw Sloan. Um, we can break him out. Um, I've turned the brightness settings up. On my screen, it looks better. Uh, it's been a very dark game so far. Um, we'll see how this video goes. If it looks a little too bright on the big, big screen on YouTube, then um, we will turn it back down. But I digress. We have to go and talk to everyone and see where we're going next. Uh... Ooh. The Turian Ark. Okay, yes. Vetra and PB suggest that we check it out. Well, we'll take both of them on that mission then, actually. We may do that next. Um, we've also got Eladon. Drak is concerned about tensions at the Krogan colony. So there's Krogans there. So we're going to do that. Okay, that's... <laughs> I have my priorities straight. Protect the Krogan at all costs. Um, there was a thing here. There we go. Poker log. The team's invited me to their regular poker game. They've been protecting, uh, they've been practicing, and each wants to be the one to dethrone me. Notes on crew tendencies. Game one. Result took everyone's credits in record time. Vetra sighs when she gets the card she wants. Every time. When PB finishes shuffling, the bottom card can often be seen. Drac might be the easiest to read, but try not to say anything that suggests this. In fact, say the opposite. He gets even sloppier when his ego's been stroked. Cora has yet to bluff. Might not be in her makeup. <laughs> she just tells the truth every single time. Jarl has real potential. Game 2. Result. Broke Game 1's record. Considered easing them up on them a little. PB has started checking, but only to check Raze. She always needs to be the one pushing the action. Drac thinks staring at me will tell him something. Think I'll blow him a kiss next time. Vetra's getting upset. She doesn't show it, but it's obvious. Cora still won't bluff. She's too risk-averse, even with a good hand. A strong bet will get her to lay it down. Jarl's inexperience is an advantage. He's hard to read. Game 3. Result, let Vetra hang with me for a long time before dashing her their hopes this time. She left very encouraged. Overall mood was improved among the others. If Jarl is still in a hand, PB plays less aggressively. Thinks she wants him. Drac doesn't know it, but he picks his nose when he's got something. <laughs> Pocket aces. Um, Cora bluffed. It was horrible. Yep. Two or three hands. Joel had me sweating. He's only just started and he's so much better than Vetra. Oh, cool. Uh, game four. Result. Couldn't help myself. Took Vetra down first. Still undefeated. Showed all seven bluffs that worked on Cora. Want to see if I can goad her into playing looser. Called PB's hand four times. Maybe she'll start slowing down. Doing all this just to change things up. Getting bored. Scared of Jarl. Game 5. Result. Yawn. Easy money. Jarl is clearly better than everyone else. Especially Vetra. Jesus. Plan worked. Cora actually bluffed once. It was horrible. She was so uncomfortable. Vetra played much cagier after being destroyed last time. I'm going to keep telling her she's dangerous. It's more fun when she's in a good mood. PB doesn't seem to care. I've demonstrated that I know exactly what she has. She still bulldozes away. I'll keep flashing the red cape. Drac could learn a thing or two from Jarl. One, stop talking all the time. Jarl barely speaks, so he doesn't give too much away. Two, stop eating and drinking. Jarl never eats or drinks while we play. He stays focused. Three, stop picking his nose. Jarl never picks his nose. <laughs> Think I have these chumps down. Next time, maybe I'll play with my eyes closed. Oh, he's cocky. He's cocky. There better be like a group mission to take him down. We need to try and dethrone. Alright. Well, I suppose we are doing a lot of running. Calorific intake is important. Phoebe? Kadara port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. 
Nope. Of all the ideas so far, it's the one most likely to blow up in our face. Oh, thanks for the inspiration. Any other bubbles you want to burst? Uh, Kalinda, tell me more about her. Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador. Respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the Initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Okay, that's not, that's fine. Um, I will leave you to it then. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. I shall befriend you a little more and then we'll learn more about her. Uh, that's a closed door, which can only mean a Jarl is waiting to speak to me. Hey, Jarl. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm, I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. Yeah, understood. Destruction's good. I can see how that help. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? Uh, for Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, uh, I, I'm not sure yet. Okay. What we've known of Vetra so far. Kid abandoned by dad. I think the mum died? I think the mum died. Dad was looking after them. Abandoned them. She had to basically play parent to her little sister. I am going to go out on a limb here and say not much dating. So she's never been wooed. Regardless of her being Turian, I imagine it would be quite nice to have that sort of wooing. Whether or not, it, you know, take the romance out of it, it's still time and effort put in. I'm going to say take the risk. I don't know, she's a little badass, but, you know, badass is like poetry. Who doesn't like a personalised poem? Yeah. Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Mm. Make sure I'm there for that. Uh, Liam seems to like my Rothgin. I might sew him one. He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. I mean, that sounds amazing. You're nailing everyone, but I want one of those Rothgins. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Clint Eastwood style poncho and go into battle with that. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Not to a Krogan. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or I don't feel like I am. Heart! Heart, finally! The bro code picture is gone, and we are now in heart territory. Um... I mean, let's explore this, because he's showing a hes showing a weaker side. He's showing an emotional side. I think you're special. Well, I think you're great. <laughs> That's so... It's true. <clears throat> you're making me blush. I can't tell. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've... Never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. It's always important to recognize. It does not matter how old you are, you can still get an achievement. Just because someone gets married at 19 doesn't mean they're ahead of the curve. It doesn't mean they're, they're better. Or they'll achieve something. I've known a 55-year-old get a PhD. At 55. Like, most people are thinking about early retirement and stuff. Like, you can you can achieve whatever you want throughout your life. Just might just have to try a little bit harder. But you're young-ish, I think, Joel. You're going to do great things. 
your brothers and sisters might be lawyers and doctors, but you're going to shoot the Archon in the face. So, who's the real winner? You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. I believe in you, Jarl. Mainly because you might be the runt of the litter of Angaran, but you're so much better than us. Right. Ryder has me tinkering with a cat transmitter. Either of you know why? He didn't tell you? Said we're trying to find the Archon's flagship so we can board it. Clearly a joke. Hoping you can give me the straight scoop. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Say, what? That's exactly what we're gonna do, Gil. Let's Gil, here's this. that cat transponder. The spy used it to get his orders. What do we need from it? I thought he was already working on it. The location it points to should give us a fix on the Archon's ship. <sighs> right. There's no pressure, man. Take it easy. It's not like there's much riding on this. Just our best chance to find Meridian. I meant genuinely no pressure. pressure. I like that. Luckily, no matter where you go in the universe, physics still applies. Only so many ways of communicating across space. There. Give it a shot. Okay. Did you connect the... <laughs> Shit, turn it off. Careful. That is a direct line to people who want to murder everyone on this ship. Did we just tell them where we are? Sam? I have the coordinates. The signal points to the Tafino system. We sure we want to do this? No. I don't know. Sometimes I think we're in over our head. <laughs> Sometimes? All the time. Here's our chance to find out. Well, thanks for doing that. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Absolutely nothing. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Okay. Well, we've got the Loquette flagship. We're not going to do that. That seems like a very big jump in the story to take. Thought you should know I keep finding crumbs here on the counter. Are you asking me to clean up after you? Forget it, Drac. It's still your <laughs> turn to clean the galley. I think something's nibbling our stores. Something that doesn't belong. Possibly something tasty. Liam. We'll space him. Don't worry, we'll chuck him out the airlock. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for stowaways. Uh, any war stories? Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Religiously. Tell me more about fighting cat. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works for okay. me. Okay, I'm starting to think you don't have any war stories. <laughs> Let's just... We can talk. Sure. The war story consists of don't die. Kill them before they kill you. It's not so much of a uh, war story. Cora, say something not about the Asari. Pirates, exiles, severed heads... Kadara port's a peach, huh? And Reyes treats it all like a game. Quite like Reyes. Anything Reyes. you needed? I quite like Reyes, that's the problem. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Uh, yeah, the issue I guess there is that she's actually told me to go back to... to Eos. Is it you? Are you nibbling our stores? Better not go running off on Kadara. Might end up in another cage. Or someone's stew. Makes you wish for a tail that lets you hang upside down. Oh, maybe that's just me. No, no, I think everyone would really want that. Um, oh, hello. Cereal crumbs. Lots of them. Someone's having cereal in the daytime. Particulate crumbs from Eden Sunrise brand cereal. Trace amounts of animal saliva. So, Drac? These crumbs appear to have been left by a small foraging animal. I mean... I think it's weird that... Is that door shut? It's a sofa. There we go. Warning couch. While Liam's claims of cha charge diffusion are dubious, furniture doesn't get this worn without providing comfort. 
which it should be noted is not the same as comfortable. <laughs> Very true. Uh, right. There's Liam. Well, we had something else to scan. Aha. Uh -huh. Cereal crumbs. Lots of them. Okay. Someone's taking a box of cereal with them. As if any of your meals passed the bucket test. You lost me. Picture your favorite food. Now picture it in a bucket beside a barn. Would you still eat it? What's the weird thing that Michelin star people say? You eat with your eyes first. No, don't care. I want a pie that's spilling out, gravy oozing out the sides. Looks mean nothing to me in food. It's all about the taste. And texture. Still waiting to find that pirate hiding place to get Varand and the damn data I passed them. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, alright. We'll talk later. I know it. Now, I'm going to let you stew in your own mistakes for a little bit there. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Lovely. Lost and found. Hot patch gun. Lost this from my workbench yesterday, and I'm really hoping it didn't fall through the deck plating. Gil. I borrowed it to fix a loose sole on my boot. I'm almost done, Liam. Liam, can I grab that quickly after? Need to patch a strap. Oh, the pilot's seat cushion just needs a quick fix too. That would really help a rickety shelf I've got down here. I built another hot patch gun. You guys can fight over that one. <laughs> it's just quicker to build another one, man. Angaran word of the day. Gosan. Gosan, verb, to cling or to grasp. Say gosan. See also gosan yavda, adjective being stubborn. Clinging to a rock. See also gosavar, the resistance. Jal. So the resistance means stubborn, pig-headed people. BB. That would be Gosavara and yes. <laughs> Charles. Okay. Gosan is to cling on or to grasp. Well, it's good to know. We are Gosanning onto life every step of the way. Uh, we had emails. Emails? Emails. Right. Oh my god. Um, Sid. Ryder, an encrypted message came from Sid. Says she wants to talk to us. Sounds urgent. Going to need you for this one, so swing by when you can. Got a lead on Ark Natanus from Avatus Rix. Ryder, I'm hearing rumours that scavengers found pieces of an Ark on a planet called Eladen. Might be nothing but worth checking out. Aya, diplomatic efforts. To Ryder from director Jaron Tan. When we left our old home, we never planned on having to negotiate with an alien civilization for a new one. It's vital we placate the Angara and keep them on our side. They've opened an embassy on Aya and our diplomatic team is already settling in. I'm counting on you to ensure our success. You've established ties with the resistance leader, the Moshai, and Aya's governor. Do all you can to learn everything about them and their supporters. The better we understand Aya's political structure, the more successful we'll be gaining their help colonizing Helios. So when the initiative left the Milky Way and went to Andromeda, we never planned on there being a sentient life form there. What? We just say, oh no, no, clearly we are the only ones in space. The Milky Way is the only galaxy that would have life. We don't need to do anything else. Error 982, carrier signal interrupted. Invitation. To Ryder from Unknown Sender. Ryder, I must be brief, but I hear my virus was a success and Sam is disconnected. Excellent news. We should talk in person. I've enclosed the nav point for our sanctuary on Kadara. The virus was only a first step. You could be a strong ally in future efforts. Night. I mean, we're just going to go there and kill him, right? Like, we're just going to meet him or her and just kill him straight away. Please see me. To Ryder from Captain Dunn. Ryder, please see me on the Hyperion deck to discuss a sensitive matter. Something suspicious. To Ryder from Sid. Sidnix. Dear Pathfinder, this is Sidera, Vetra's sister, but everyone calls me Sid. I know this isn't following protocol because who am I to contact... 
to contact a Pathfinder through their personal console, right? But I know Vetra will tell me I'm overreacting, and I swear I wouldn't do this unless I thought it was something serious. There's just stuff going on here that doesn't really add up, and people are getting hurt. It's hard to explain. Can we talk in person? I'm in operations. Thanks. Sid Erenix. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, we've got to go back to the... Uh... Ooh, we got so much to do. You're making waves to Ryder from Puss in Boots, Reyes Vidal. Spread the word at Tartarus and import and import of your expert handling of the Rokar. I only made a few embellishments and left out my involvement. Of course, wouldn't want to steal your spotlight. Not that I really could. You're something else, Ryder. Reyes. Let's see. About Kadara. To Ryder from Vetra. Hey Ryder, one of my friends from Kadara sent a list of tips for surviving here. It's mostly common sense, but there are some gems. No one knows who the charlatan is. Asking's dangerous. That's fair. Be caref be really careful dealing with Sloane and anyone who works for her. Politics on Kadara are less about who's got the biggest stick and more about who's willing to use the sticks they have in creative ways. There's a hole in the wall place in the slums that makes the best cup of Quilloa. Do not mix Quilloa with other stimulants, no matter what anyone says. Humans only. Don't ask Umi, the bartender, to surprise you. <laughs> Invitation diplomatic meeting to Ryder, the Nexus Cultural Exchange. Pathfinder Ryder, we are currently hosting the first Angaran ambassador to the Nexus. Is Didnevar. Despite the importance of your duties, we hope your next return to the station will coincide with this visit. I think it might. A cordial meeting between the Pathfinder to first reach Aya and the Angaran ambassador could be could set the tone for relationships in our future. I mean, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Matriarch credits to Ryder from Drac. Last time I was on Kadara, I met with this Asari at Kralas who said she'd let me in on a little score. Apparently, there's this matriarch who came over on the Nexus, only she died in stasis. My contact says she's next in line for the old lady's credits. A lot of credits. And get this. She says she'll split them with me. Trouble is, there's red. Is this a Nigerian print scam? <laughs> oh, Drac. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, trouble is, there's red tape. Transfer fees. And she's having trouble mustering up the credits to clear them. Ask me if I could cover the transfer cost. I tried to bring Vetra in on this, but she says it's a scam. I'm not so sure. Seems like a pretty good opportunity to me. <laughs> Major credits to ride her from Drac. It was a scam. Do me a favour and don't tell Vetra. <laughs> oh, God. It's like having Grunt here. <sighs> Just because you're an old Krogan does not mean you're in any way intelligent. Non-work-related email from Jarl. Ryder, I told Liam and PB and Lexi a children's story that the mothers used to tell me when we were small. It's from our oral history of the time before the Scourge. The crew said I should write it down so that it can be added to the cultural centre on the Nexus. Ah, okay. The Wayward Child. Long ago, there was a child who was very stubborn and wouldn't listen to any wisdom. Not from her father, not from her many mothers. One day, seeking adventure, she snuck aboard a spaceship with an unknown destination. That child was brave to seek adventure. However, she ended up getting spaced with a load of garbage. Deservedly, she froze in the cold vacuum of space and died. The end. Was this a grim fairy tale? I don't know why the crew enjoyed it. It's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters into obedience. Is this a novelty to your people? If so, how do you humans keep children from hurting themselves? <laughs> That's the thing. We don't. We don't. They hurt themselves. And then we go, you right? You good? Cool. Yep. Moving on. <laughs> That's... That's how you grow up. My mom and dad couldn't stop me from throwing myself down the stairs. All right. Suvi's Movie Night Snacks. To Ryder from Vetra. Ryder. Whatever Suvi's cooking up, the galaxy smells terrible. The galaxy. The galley smells terrible. Her cooking's not that bad. It hasn't stunk out the galaxy just yet. She says it's for a movie night. Good cause. Bad choice of snacks. I can do better. Come and see me. I'll show you. This sounds bad, kid. To Ryder from Drac. Thought I'd show you what Strux sent me. A transcript of an audio log that's got me worried about the colony. Sounds like Morda's cooking up something. Don't know what to think. Morda. Stop arguing with me, Brank. It's payback time for the initiative. Brank. They don't care about us. 
Mortar, but they soon will. They're going to know that I'm Overlord, and once I execute my plan, there'll be no denying that the Krogan rule Helios. Then they'll come begging to us. Rank. Okay, Morda. I'll get a team together, gather everything we need. Morda. No Krogan bows down to the Nexus again. I mean, I agree. Like, I don't... Yeah. But I, they shouldn't ever bow down to the Nexus again, as far as I'm concerned. Every single race that was brought over from the Milky Way is part of a council. You don't, you're not bringing someone and then turning around and going, oh, but you're not actually important enough for us to care. Um, right, I think a couple of people wanted to talk to us, actually. So, yeah, we are going to head back to Vetra. I beg your pardon. And, oh, people have moved. Got anything to say? Ryder. <laughs> we can talk more later. Shepherd. Shepherd. Right. Vetra. But yeah, it, as far as I'm concerned, every race that comes here should be on a council. Krogan should be allowed to be an equal part of this, because you brought them. Like, why would you... It's so stupid. <laughs> and, yeah, naturally you've you've uh, exiled them. Tan, you genius. Uh, we need to get them back. That is an A1 priority, because with the Krogan on our side in terms of fights, I reckon we can... Uh, we can we can beat the Archon pretty handily. Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. I just got an email from her. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours! So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. That's not good. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, because it's not. They were kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. <laughs> We're gonna need more information, but I do trust her. We'll need more than your assurances. Who's behind this? Why target settlers? Ugh, does it matter? Are you gonna not save them if you don't like why they're in trouble? Good Sid, point. just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. No. You know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. Unless you're on spring break. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I think you had something else you wanted to talk to me about, although I can't remember what it is. <clears throat> Suvi. Gotta love ah. her, but those green snack things she's making for Liam's movie night? Let's just say they're probably better suited to throwing at the screen. You've got a better idea? It's the vegan option. Yeah, actually. Cora lent me an initiative access code so I could track down some contraband. Long story short, someone on Kadara Port has popcorn. And Grexen, which is like your popcorn, only better because I can eat it. Oh, I, ah, uh, there was something about that there which just had so much personality. The voice actress for, for Vetra does really good because the Turian voice is really stern. Very to the point, matter of fact. And that just had this little flick in and out. I really like <laughs> And Grexen, which is like your popcorn, but only better because I can eat it. Um... I should confiscate it? Yeah, I think we definitely need to confiscate it for the team. I mean, popcorn can't be had. Who the fuck brought popcorn? <laughs> Smuggling is unacceptable. We should claim that contraband and destroy it. Salt it. I hear that's good for evidence. <laughs> Thanks. It'll be nice to have a treat out here, you know? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Let's go get, get you some Graxon. I must admit, actually, I don't know my uh, my elements, my uh, ingredients, and I don't know what you want to call them. But basically, 
the whole dextro amino thing which i think is what turians and um italians need quarians thank you um yes uh, I, they need amino dextro amino i run all the tests it's non-toxic if we're going to live here someone has to take the plunge and actually try to eat things dr tapero please do something don't do it suvi you told on me i thought we were friends you sir are uninvited from all my parties that's fair. Um, yeah, so Dextro Amino. I don't know what that exactly means in terms of food. So popcorn, she can't have normal popcorn. Which means she can't have sweet corn. Alright, Suvi. Stop eating whatever you're eating. Cat genetics defies everything we know. They're bits of different species, and yet all cat. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. I mean, you're kind of describing Asari. They're all Asari, but with bits of DNA from other races. That's the whole point. Learn what you can. If you and the rest of the team could figure them out, it might make a huge difference. Already on it, Pathfinder. Good lass. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Keep it professional, please. Callo, Calamando. Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? 100%. What for? There's a small something I need to take care of. I might need your help, if you could. Yeah, 100%. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? Okay. I mostly need your authorization to add to the database. Is that our drive core? The full blueprint. Only a few are in the system. I had them all by memory. So I drew them out. Every line. All the specs. Gil will be needing them. I won't. Oh. 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 Breaking my heart, Callow. You still will. I want you to still be the voice of reason to Gil. I'm not... It was so black and white, the choice. It was just basically saying you're right, you're wrong, or vice versa. I don't want it to be that black and white. You rein each other in. You're both of the extremes. And now I don't want to break his heart. I don't want to say they'll be helpful. This still bothers you. Let's, let's try and be a bit more caring. I've lost my papers that tell me which one's which, so I think that's... Love. Sure, let's romance it. You're still not comfortable with Gil being in charge of your Tempest, are you? Call it more memories of the time that they were going to scrap the whole project. Some engineering consultant kept insisting the ship would never fly right. He used a lot of Gil's arguments. I think that's why this hurts. The others died thinking we won, that their legacy was safe, and... I failed them. No, no, no way! It worked. If Gil does none of the changes, it still works as a ship. But you were making a ship with no fucking clue what... Let, let's say the, the Scourge... I think they said it was dark energy, dark matter. So Gil's making changes to aid around dark matter. What's the nicest thing to say there? You failed them. It's safe in these blueprints. Is kind of saying you did fail them. You made us care, man. You showed us the Tempest through your eyes. Why she matters. Even Gil sees it now. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. And in the end, someone new always takes up the banner and pushes forward. I am... Um, I need... The tech officers sign off on these schematics. Any thoughts on how to do this? If I know Gil, he'll make a joke. But he'll see how serious Callow is and he will be respectful. A little honesty and humility will go a long way. Not humility, come on, man. Gil, may I get a moment of your time?
really. I thought we settled this. What's going on? I saved the Tempest schematics for you. It'll be easier with them on hand. Seeing her drawn out down to the basics, she's kind of beautiful. Oh, right. You never saw. Yeah. Look at the arc here. That's artistry. And there. Decision. Okay. Cool. I like that. People to beat? I take it you moved your stuff over from the Nexus? Yeah. My squatter's paradise is all the more cluttered. What's up? Nothing Thanks much. for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay, so... Hello and Guild. Okay, the best thing I can say to Callow is it's it's like Bletchley Park. Alan Turing. He made the computer. He broke the Enigma machine. He is the the inventor of the computer, as far as I'm aware. Um, he will always be remembered. Yes, the computer has evolved beyond comprehension from then. But it was still him. He started it. And I think it's important that Callow understands that his legacy is not gone. It is now the foundation. It's like being an ancestor and then having kids and kids and kids and kids and kids. They're all yours, man. What can I do for you? Give me your stories about the Tempest. Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. <laughs> I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Yes, I do, sir. Yes, I do. Give him some time, and hopefully we'll see him and Gil getting on. No orbiting Kadara. Yes, we are. We have got other stuff to do. Oh, wow, look at the big list. Now, here's the thing. I want to get popcorn. Popcorn is important for me. But at the same time, I also want Krogan. So, I am. This, this is what I'm like in games. It's probably driving people balmy because I've watched people unlock a new planet, or sorry, unlock a new level in a game and then complete everything in that level and then move on to the next level and complete everything in that level and then move on. Um, I don't do that. <laughs> I want to go. No, we're not, we're not doing loyalty missions yet. We're going to do a whole episode where we're going to rattle off a whole load of loyalty missions. But right now, hunting the Archon, we don't want to do. Where's Elard? Elard in a whole new world. There we go. Because we've still got to go back to Eos and talk to people about an Asari Ark. Like, every time we do one thing, it unlocks six more things. We have got a spider's web of, of uh, levels to go through, or missions to go through. Careful. Word is there's pirates all over this region. Okay. You'd think they'd run out of people to steal from. <laughs> They're stealing from each other at this point. Uh, I'm picking we... up something. Hello. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Sure, we'll take it. Ice. Graphite. 107 graphite. Alright guys, the pencils are on me. Nope, that's not what I want. Oh, there it is. On the outskirts. I didn't expect it to be so far out. Okay. So, we have got Krogan. We have got Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. So what, is this the moon to... It's the third moon of that planet. 
Eladen, a moistureless, sweltering landscape covered by a large number of cover subsidence sinkholes. Eladen still supports life to a limited degree. The fledgling Krogan colony of New Tachanka is here, along with what appears to be abandoned mining facilities, scattered outposts, and camps. So the Krogan left and went to the one place that they thought no one else could go. I mean, it's genius, to be fair. Um, I will keep the Krogan, just because it's Krogan 4. We've got the Crusader. That's empty. We don't really need anything extra. Uh, I guess we'll, tr we'll put some higher level stuff up. It's ultra rare. Max ammo, ma minus 10 weapon weight. Plus 5% max shields. That's actually quite good. Combat damage, weapon damage. I don't want to look like a cat. I'm going to get shot on sight. All right, let, let's change some other stuff up then. Oh, okay. I've got nothing. So this is max ammo, plus 10 cell price, minus 15 weapon, encounter XP, and weapon damage. Now we'll go for the scavenger still. I think we've got anything. Can't change any of them. Um, I don't use them. I forget I've even got them. Okay, we're in a desert. <clears throat> a load of pirates. We're definitely bringing Drac. No question about it. No mention of the Angara being here. Maybe it's a place they can't actually go to. EB? Uh, no, I, I want to bring. Yeah, I want to bring Vetra. Actually, it's it's Drac and Vetra again. Purely because of where we're going, these guys seem like the ones that are going to kind of understand the pirates and not just be dismissive. This is their. Sam, planet. send Callow the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac. We're landing on Eladin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. On my way. Yeah, this is the pirate planet. Uh, we're not here to colonize it. I don't know if we can put an, an outpost here. I think the first thing we've got to do to get an outpost on here is to get the Krogan Where is this side. meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. Now that's a backdrop. Ah, oh, it's like Star Wars. Remnant Starship? No. Only 41% exposed. I will gather what information I can, Pathfinder. That's 41%. Over half of it is still underground. How old must that be? Put it down gently. Not bad, Callow. We'll make a pilot out of you yet. Who lives here besides the Krogan? Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Oh, God. Gonna be interesting. Yeah, so this is just like the scum of the scum. Uh, our mission's still saying go back there. No, I don't want to do Liam Costa's mission. Fuck off. Visit Paradise. We've got other missions to do here as well. Beautiful, isn't it? I remember the first time I saw this place, I thought, wow, this is home. I wasn't the only one. I mean, it's Heat Light Hazard 1 for me. Is tried it? tried the flop house. They shot at me. Okay. I'll kill each one of you. See if I won't. Okay. Uh, 
Kent Holsey. Hey, I recognize your insignia. Your Nexus, right? A Pathfinder. Please don't kill me. Kent Halsey, Nexus Security. <laughs> I was just about to say, why the fuck are you here? Um, and you're here? Didn't know your duties reached all the way to Eladin. Don't. It doesn't. I'm here for... personal reasons. My sister Isabel fell in with the wrong people. She joined the Rebellion and was exiled to Kadara. Somehow, she pissed off enough people to end up in this hellhole. Your security and your sister's a troublemaker. Puts you in an awkward situation. I don't care about that. I'm here to find her. I know she can't come back to the Nexus, but we can start over on Kadara, together. You sure about that? You'd give up your life for her? Izzy's the only family I have. I'd do anything for her. The problem is, I underestimated this planet. I don't have a vehicle or a way to survive the heat. <laughs> I'm stuck before I've even started. I'll find her. Don't worry. I can track Isabel down for you. I hoped you'd say that. I think the salvager from Kadara has info on her. She wouldn't give me anything, but maybe you can get her talking. I will use my seductive ways. <laughs> get out of my face. I swear I'll kill you. I'll kill you first. He's not lying. So I'm killing her over the holy ground. Okay, that's fine. I'm leaving. <laughs> the first group of Krogan I see. Oh, look, they're Krogan. I'll fucking kill you. I'm gonna stab you. Ania is traded for water with Kadara, but not this much. Okay, it's just a little bit of information on what people are able to do with them. Oh, shit! Hello? If you're here for water, you'll need to speak with Ania first. You cut the deal with her, she gives you a chit, and I dispense the water. You can take your entire allotment at once, or in portions. Up to you. This is a very precious area. I'm surprised that no one's attacking it. Seems odd to place the water tank so close to that gaping chasm. <laughs> Someone once told me Ania does it as a security measure. She empties the tanks into the gorge if anyone tries to steal the water. I've never seen it happen myself, but others have. Can you imagine? What a waste. No, that's actually very, very fair. Uh, just pop the vault and get some fucking ice. Uh, Ania sells the water. Is all this water for sale? Some of the supply goes to the trading post, of course, but yes, most of it's for sale. Anyone who wants water on Elodin has to come here. There is very little elsewhere on the planet. There must be an area somewhere, like a little water swell or something that... I mean, the Krogan are surviving. I know there's three there. I'm, are they part of the Krogan colony? or? Where does this water come from? <laughs> I believe that's a trade secret. I don't even know where she gets it. At first I thought she traded with Kadara, but that can't be it. It's impossible for all this volume to be from Kadara. With Fold. I'll let you get on with your work. Like... Have a lovely day. Get a starship, put a fucking block of ice in it, and then take it here and let it melt in one of these things. Admittedly, if you drink a glass of cold water, you're probably just gonna die. The second we're out the dunes, you're dead. Okay. I can assure you I'm not. That's Salarian. Hello. Nothing to say, really? Okay. So where is Ania? What I wouldn't give for a little night time. Also no night time here. Ania? Nope. Ania? You look like an Addison to me. Water distribution dude? Okay. So, I have no idea what an, an Aenea is. Love how we're running. Like, worst possible thing to do in this heat surely is to just run around everywhere. If you're gonna take this fluoride. Water towers. The colony here gets all its supply from Aenea. Wait, are you telling me about 
Right, okay. I know. <laughs> I was just there, Drac. But who or what is an Aeneid? I'm supposed to get the next seat off this planet. I have credits. I need to get back to the Nexus. Hang on, that sounded like a Salarian. Never heard a Turian sound like that first voice. They're waking up my husband. I need to be there. How about salvage from that big alien ship? I got lots. Name your price. Oh, well, well, I need to know who's talking there. Seriously, I found some valuable stuff outside that ship. Okay, we're going to leave because I don't think any of them are talking. Um, sure, that's fine. Turian throwing his voice and sounding like a Salarian uh, is absolutely fine. Right. I want a mission. Ania. What are you looking at? Well, you look like a trustworthy man. With your bright orange hair that somehow has not faded in this area. And I cannot see your eyes. Um... You! Like, <laughs> I'm curious as to your aesthetic. To be honest, I'm curious about what's going on here. What's going on is none of your damn business. Keep walking, or I'm gonna shoot out your knees. I thought the rule was no guns. That won't protect you outside the gates. If you see me there, you better run. Pathfinder, is it necessary to engage with this individual? I don't see how it helps our cause. Right. Let's just back away slowly, guys. Time. You see that little Krogan over there? He is Ryder, going to... I heard that little exchange. I don't understand it. They screened every initiative applicant. How did so many of them end up violent and unstable? I mean, you can't tell just from a test. It's a fair exchange. Ania! Why? Because you say it is. Partly. I wouldn't be in business if I wasn't fair. If you don't think so, go trade somewhere else. Okay, I will. Mm, all right, bye then. Ania. So you're Ania. That's right. And you are? Veteran X. We do business with the same people on Kadara. Ah, yes. One of the newcomers. Welcome, all of you, to my paradise. Okay. Have a milkshake, Outside please. the gates, you're on your own. But in here... You're safe. Anyone violates the peace, they have to answer to me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it must be a lot of work. To be fair, like, even if you're not strong or in combat, if you've got a way to get water, and you have a ton of water that will say is a month's supply to a group of people, and you come here and you're trading it to various different people, what's the incentive to kill you? Yeah, we'll kill you, and we'll take a month's worth of water, and then you won't be there to supply us in the future. So actually, you're pretty much one of the most protected people here. No one's going to want to kill you. Must be a lot of work. Being able to maintain control here must be difficult. These people need me. They need what I sell, so they behave, or they're out. Now what can I get you? How can I help? Just let me know. Where is Mr. Strux? I'm supposed to meet a Krogan here named Strux. Look around. If my customers have names, I don't know them. It's better that way. <laughs> That's fair. Tell me about yourself. You have a pretty good attitude for a place like this. I've got nothing to complain about. I'm rich and no one messes with me. Most powerful woman on Elodin. Yeah? I don't mean to brag, but absolutely. I like it. I like her a lot. Uh, tell me about Elodin. What else is here? I'm a businesswoman, not a tour guide, but I'll tell you what I know if it suits me. Krogan? You get along with the Krogan? Everyone comes to Elodin with the dream of leaving, except me and the Krogan. They built their colony into a sinkhole. Smart. Keeps it cool enough for them, I guess. They have their own water? Oh. Unfortunately for them, no. But Mordor and I get along well, so far. Interesting, okay. Uh, what about all the scavengers? Who lives on this planet? Desperate folks, mostly. Misfits, some. Those that can't get along in the regular world. Or people willing to make a profit off that desperation. 
like you. Careful, sweetheart. You want to keep me on your good side. Yeah. There's a place they call the Flop House, Eastish of here. Den of murder and misery. You should pay it a call. No worries. Uh, yeah, and the remnant ship that is fucking massive. What can you tell me about that derelict ship? Ah, oh, you came here to get killed, did you? All right. Scavengers are trying to pull it apart, is all I know. I don't go near their claims. They shoot on sight. I certainly will. Uh, what have you got to sell? What can I buy? I don't know. What do you have to trade? Mostly I sell water, but you should go out to the tanks if you want that. Is there anywhere else on the planet to, I don't know, find water? Not really. And if I don't like the look of you or you get on my bad side, then no water for you. I mean, didn't the guy say, like, you buy a chit from this woman? Right, let's firstly, let's sell. Confirm that trade. Defensive fortifications. Shield. Oh, yeah, I'm buying that. Of course I am. Uh, how much money have I got? 3,500. Talk management. Improves talk in six-wheel drive, allowing for a faster top speed. It's not bad, but it does take me above what I need. So we'll have the we'll have the shields. It's a lot of modules. Ooh, okay. I... Archangel. A navy and black Turian design ready to ride into hell and back. Oh, it's Garrus. It's Archangel. Um Honeycomb. That's a cool one. I like that. Moonlit Monolith Midnight. That's cool. Nebula. Very cool. That is black and blue. And uh, fluid from a giant thing. Uh, we've got more ingredients. Scale fibers, but nothing else. Okay, so 3,360. We are now broke. I brought the car a color scheme, guys. I'm sorry. I wanted to pimp my ride like Archangel, who I've Heard a rumor of on Omega. Nice duds. Better watch your back. There's probably already a dozen people planning to kill you for them. Uh, thanks for the warning. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Just trying to help. So, what else can I do for you? What do you do here? What do you do on this planet? Why are you here? Why? Trying to find out where my claim is? <laughs> No, relax. I do the same as anyone else here. Try not to get killed. That's fair. Uh, I am looking for a Krogan named Strux. You know a Krogan named Strux? Nope. But Krogan are hard to miss. Look around. Thanks. I liked you at the beginning. I'm liking you less and less now. So, you live here, Salarian person? Where do you live? Where do you sleep? There's a flop house not far from here. There's always shelter. Maybe even a bed, if someone died that day. Jesus. Uh, okay, bye. We're done. Yeah, we're done. Suit yourself. I ain't staying for that. Hello. You look Step cheerful. off. Okay. Not allowed back here. Nope, that's fine. That's fine. Right. Still got a whole load of things to do here. Uh... We have got to scan some peoples. Hello, Mr. Man. Ugh. Wow. Be careful around that one, Ryder. Excellent. A brain chemical imbalance. This guy is cuckoo. I'm gonna mess you up when we get out of here. Yeah? Ugh. You mess me up, you're never seeing those star charts again. What? I have my star charts right here. I'm going to peel your skin off and feed it to you. Jesus. Damn. I hid those charts. You kill me, no chance you're leaving this hellscape. And I'm going to kill you right here. I just told you I have your map. You're way off this planet. How are you so stupid? Well, he'll kill you and then take it. That one didn't work. Try someone else. Inconclusive cerebral scan unsuccessful. Got it. Brain chemical imbalance. So these guys are just like, I mean, it kind of makes sense because this is the 
prison from the prison, isn't it? Like, Kadara Port is there, and then you've got this place. Oh, not a Krogan. Ship you got there. You need someone got it. To watch it. I'll add it to my data banks. <laughs> data inconclusive. Find a different one. One more to scan. Scrap. What are you looking at? I detect above normal temperatures. Yes, it's because it's hot, Sam. Environmental temperatures are within <laughs> acceptable yeah. limits. Pulled the whole thing apart. Wasn't scared. Wish I got in on that deal. That's fine. Next time I'll claim one for myself. Uh, right. you. Thanks, Ryder. That should be enough. I'll analyze this and let you know what I find. Okay. Hello, it's good, sir. Didn't do it. Didn't do nothing. Okay. You didn't do anything. Good. Tell them that when they come. Well, that was interesting. Okay, that's fine. I will let Temperature them levels are know. Climbing, Pathfinder. Is it going to like be a? Uh... There we go. Is it going to be some sort of drug that's going on around here, like Oblivion? Going to enter the circuit. Did I hear you talking about the remnant? Don't know. You an eavesdropping snake? Yes. Been breaking it down to sell. Could make a killing from the pieces. Uh, Ryder, you should check that out. Yeah, probably should. <clears throat> right. Hey, hey. <sighs> One of these days I'm not going to fall to my doom just from getting to a pub, but... Hello. Velonia. Well, well, look at you. I'm good at reading people. Want me to guess who you are? Shoot. A Pathfinder. Impressive. Is How'd it? you know? I cheated. I run salvage to Kadara. Word travels fast there. Should hear what the Collective is saying about you. What are they saying? Well, now I'm curious. I will repeat it, for your sake. Oh, shit. Uh, the Collective hate me. That was the one I was actually trying to get on board with. Um, Eladen, tell me about it. What's your take on Elodin? Elodin. If the worm or the gang leaders don't kill you, the heat in Ataraxia will. I don't know how anyone can live here. Somehow they make it work. The worm? Barely. At least once a trip, an escaped slave or ex-cultist tries to bribe me for a ride out of here. Except the Krogan. I've seen new Tachanka. We'd all be lucky to have a setup like theirs. Are we just going to drop the fact you said worm? Is there a thresher more here? You said you run salvage to Kadara. How does that work? The scavengers come from Hell's Promise to sell me their scraps. I pay them next to nothing. Charming. Then what? I haul my loot to Kadara and sell to the merchants. Sloane takes her cut, naturally, but mostly I make a killing. Sometimes I even buy water from Aenea and sell it at a premium in the flop house. It's a solid Jeez. life. If you say so. Eh, profiteering. Why not? Uh, tell me about the scavengers. You must deal with the scavengers a lot. No more than I have to. Slavery, cannibalism, gang leader worship. It's enough to make my skin crawl. They're uh, horrible. Cannibalism? Slavery? I plan to keep my distance. Smart. But it's not just the gang leaders. The ones in the paradise are dangerous too. This is supposed to be a neutral zone, but I don't trust the scavengers to follow the rules. Right, okay. Uh, Isabel Halsey. Oh, the sister of that dude. Got info on someone named Isabel Halsey? What am I, your personal database? Now we need to keep them on side because they're exiles. They don't, you know, that wasn't a request. I'm not their boss. Pretty please. Come on. You're the only one here yeah, who doesn't want to kill me. Just help me out. Fine, fine. I I've never met her, but I heard a few scavengers talking. Mention a cave out in the dunes. Something about Isabel's time being limited. Oh, wow. This is the nav point. Just watch out. That's a bad area. Okay. All of Elodin is a bad area. 
Good point. Uh, do you know a sexy cat-like person in boots? Ever worked with a guy named Reyes? Reyes? He's one of my buyers, actually. You know him? We've met. I'm not surprised. Reyes knows everyone. Some a little too well. He has other people? Take it easy. Always do. All right, all right. It's fine. Um, hello, Sean. New armor. Well-maintained weapons. I take it you're not one of the locals. You know your stuff. You've been trained to spot this. One of the reasons Ania hired me. I know whose good side to get on. Uh, tell me about What's your boss like? She gave me a job and a place to live. I'm grateful to her for that. But... She's not easy on your kind. I've seen her deny them water based on nothing but her mood. She didn't live on Kadara like I did. All she's seen is the exiles on Elodin. Right, okay. It's enough to turn anyone against outsiders. But I don't like seeing people suffer. Even exiles. Tell me about yourself. So you work for the water merchant? I designed the filtration systems. Now I keep them from breaking down in the heat. You're an engineer? Of sorts. On Kadara, I designed defense systems for the settlements. Specialized in hidden traps to use in the dark. <laughs> I can't continue that work here. Why? The sun never goes down on Elodin. No nighttime. Just constant blazing daylight. It's why the Paradise does so well. Water isn't the only commodity. We have shade. Uh, coming to Elodin. How'd you end up here? Same as anyone. I was desperate. Ran up a debt on Kadara and needed to escape. I have to say life isn't bad here. I moved between the Paradise and New Tachanka, keeping the water tanks running. Sometimes I even go to the flop house to buy extra parts from the scavengers. They respect me there. Still, I miss the exciting stuff. Felt like I was making a difference when I built defense systems. Okay. Well, I will see you around, good sir. I should get going. Careful out there. Not a problem. I like this guy. Right. The last one, then, is... Find the Krogan Dude. Okay, apparently can't cling on to that. And then, I really want to kill some eggs. <laughs> if they're going to be all, like, banded... Hello. I've got a... Really close to something. I just want to... Okay. Let's not antagonize the Krogan. Hello. Are you Jorgal Strux? Maybe. You who I think you are. Scott Ryder, Pathfinder for the Initiative. This is Drax. You asked me to meet you here? Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Ah, oh, we value the Krogan. It, I understand the sentiment, but it's still just like, no, 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 the Krogan have a price that we have not paid yet. No, I want to build bridges. You are equals in every single way. Everyone's best chance for survival is to cooperate. That includes the Krogan. Good. Nice to know some people oh. are on our side. Yes. So, trouble at the colony? It's heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? Hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus. That much we know. Drac here disagrees. Drac trusts Morda, and I trust Drac. Hearn, Morda's leading the colony for a reason. She's tough, but that's good. You're not there, Drac. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. Strux is Krogan dying. Your homeworld's worse than this place. Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. Okay. Okay. It makes sense that's asking for trouble. Is that... Who am I talking to? Is that... Or talking about? Is that... It makes sense to rash Morda rationing, or it makes sense for you to make peace with the Nexus. 
I'm gonna say that's that's all's give the trouble. We all came here with our pasts and our baggage. With such deep conflicts, peace may be impossible. No, 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 no. There won't be a colony to make peace with if Morta ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planted. Oh, I am. Don't worry. Talk to Ravenar Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen. A bad omen. I don't know why you made it seem like a threat to him. Um. Okay, so... Those guys... So there's a civil war going on. Those guys want to make peace with the Nexus, which is ultimately what we want. As long as I don't kill myself. So... Activating automated forward station deployment. What happens if you're under it when it lands? Mining zones in this region are available, I Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. I imagine a borderland style, style uh, death, but... Nomad! <sighs> you know what? Oh. So, Elodin. Charming so far. What do we got? Besides the sand. The remnant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned? Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. Here, scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is New Tachanka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes? Sounds fun. Not really. Elodin is tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death, as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. Oh, God. And on that cheery note, let's head for the climate-controlled paradise of the Nomad. Yep, absolutely. Aircon. Uh, actually, before we do that, I want to see if I can change... Very important to change. We're going Archangel, guys. Oh, yeah. We're in the Badlands. Criminals everywhere. Archangel is what we need. Right. So, where the hell are we going? Um, oh, that's a big place. Scan. Find Isabel Halsey. That's way over there. Search for memory triggers. That's always a nice little start. Investigate anomaly on Elden Turian Ark. So where's the Krogans? New to Chunka. Right, okay, that's where we need to go then. You know what? There's three memory shards there. So when we go back to the thing, we should have like two memories to do. Remember that last push before the Arcs left? All that activity for a guess about a galaxy. I got hit by a power loader. <laughs> what? <laughs> Driver was on three calls about where to store rations. Punched it right in the gyros. Okay, so... Oh, I remember the buzz of when we left. I got run over by a forklift truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drax, never change. Okay, I'm also scared about this worm. Is there going to be a thresher more here? Because watch out for the sinkhole. Yes, thank you, Drac. Thank you. You just keep an eye out about a thresher. I don't know if you did your rite of passage, Drac. But, uh, where I'm from, you have to kill a pressure more in order to be accepted through puberty, apparently. Just keep an eye on... Oh, all that way, <laughs> we've just gone there. My god. Right. Right. 
scavenger tech ahead. They'll be looking oh. for scrap here. Hello. Hey, everyone else. Climbing Pathfinder. Nice. Pretty good, guys. I'm happy with that. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Hello. Life support is stable. Outlaw anarchist. A heavily armored, close-range combatant who fancies inferno grenades. All right. I detect above normal temperatures. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Boiling tank. Used to extract, purify, and store water. It currently functions at 29% capacity. Okay, that's fine. I detect above normal temperatures. And I detect... Daddy Trauma! Sam, another memory trigger? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Okay. Return to Sam Node on the Hyperion to we, investigate further. We already further. had one, so that's fine. And... When you zoom out, they look so close. Okay, we'll go to this one first, because there's a fast travel point. Well, that thing's remnant for sure. That's a weird. This is a weird area. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's like an explosion here. Caused all of this stuff to surge up. Oh, uh, right. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. I am going to change things up here for one reason, one reason only. Mining zones have been added to your nav system. I want some more conversations. Change the loadout of people. Right. So. We're going to keep Drac. We've had Drac and Jar. We've had Drac and Vetra. Drac and PB. I want sage advice for... Or PB. No, I don't want to kill my car. Get in the car. What is the thing down here? Oh! Hello, little dude. Hello, little dude. Oops. Right. This heat is unbearable. I detect a considerable temperature drop in shaded areas. <laughs> That's a big boy. Come on, big boy. We fight in the shade. Don't let it grab you. Oh, yeah, obviously going to be grabbing. Jump jets, baby! Oh, right in the kidneys. That'll do. Right. Life support is stable. Good. I am glad it's stable. It's the least I expect from you, Sam. Going in the right direction. We are 
not going in the right direction. That's the one. Right. Not got any conversation, guys. Keep us entertained. So Drac, Asari, and Krogan live much longer than the rest of the Milky Way species. Yeah, so. But now you've got about as much time left as Ryder, Vetra, everyone else on the team. If I'm lucky, get to the point. Must be weird. After so much time, finally facing the end. Time is time. Number of years don't matter as much as what you do with them. Whatever I've got left's gonna be chock full of living. Atta boy. Does not matter how old you are. Pathfinder, my senses read an Andromeda plant sample nearby. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? This actually is the one planet you probably don't want ridiculous... Uh... Because I'm getting a lot of glare off the white rocks. Turn it down a little bit. Uh, there is a plant sample nearby. Oh. My. Up the hill. Do you believe that would be it there? No, apparently not. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, back in. It's a cave I can't drive in. Right, okay. I don't think we'll last much longer in this. Shut up. What? Who are you yelling at? Who's... What? I'm confused. Oh, okay. Yeah, you stretch your legs, crap. Fucking hell. Right. Underground mushroom cave. Let's do this. Uh, an echidna. No knuckles. Oh God, it's actually a pack of them. Right, come on. Knuckles the Echidna is not the last of his species. They all came to Andromeda. Credits. Some people were living down there. Oh! Ho, ho. Big Daddy. I just want my daddy's memories back. I mean you no harm. Why is my long-range shotgun not working? Come on, big guy. <laughs> and now... Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate I think I've further. unlocked a second one. Right, and now we get a plant. This has been a, a very, very good, fruitful journey so far. Plant. Helios flora. Tentative classification, Amanita jetanum. Other submitted names, red bulb mushroom, ember shroom. I I'd go with ember shroom, definitely. Uh, nutritional content, medium. Though not poisonous, this mildly psychoactive mushroom as valuable medicinal properties, extracted agents could be used to enhance metagel's pain-reducing capabilities. Cool. Or you put it in a cocktail and get high. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. 
We've got two memories to unlock in Sam Node, which is good. Anything of interest? Oh, that that's a dude. Hello, dude. Shotgun heavy spare clip and a disciple. Salvage team 13. The Vagabonds. Log 14. Pale Athos. Another one. How are these stasis lockers getting off the Ark? Oh, who cares? My people are here. They're alive. That means my clan too. We'll all be back together. I suppose it's not technically salvage since we brought this locker from a freelancer we found wandering out here. Pulling a sled full of finds. A strange fellow. Human, but always wears a breather mask or helmet. Even in atmosphere. He says his name is Baxter, I think. It's hard to tell where it, when he mutters. Marcus says we could use more help. Caitlin doesn't want to keep Baxter around, but Marcus says he can butter her up. Dairy products now? Mammalian courtship is so odd. The locker contains personal items. It is registered to the Parchero. Parchero? This is from the Solarian Ark. That means they got through dark space. It looks like a salvage team is hunting down these lockers. Meaning there's more. The Solarians are out there somewhere. Okay. Oh, you really have to think about what you want to prioritize here. Because every arc we find would bring thousands of more people. Don't hit the car, get in the car. And also, Solarian brains helping to fix whatever is, you know, going on. Oh, I think. I like what you said about life and longevity, Drac. Remind me what I said? <laughs> you said the number of years we're around isn't what matters. Back home, I knew so many old Asari who stopped learning, asking questions. Sounds less like living than waiting to die. Exactly. I wouldn't trade one of my years for a hundred of theirs. Aww. Sage words of advice for, I'm guessing, a young Asari. Maybe she seems quite young. In Asari standards. Well, if a worm's going to be anywhere, I'm guessing that's a sinkhole. I want to peek, but I know what sinkholes are. There's no way out of there, is there? Deep that goes. Nah, there's no way out. We are not going down there. I'd like to stay off the sand as best as possible, to be quite honest. He says as we now go into sand. I like the rocky bit. Levels increasing. Shut up, Sam. Oh, I forgot I'm not in a Mako. That's fine. That's fine. A Mako was in one Mass Effect game, and I feel like I've bonded with that over everything else. There we go. Come on, just shift along diagonal. There we go. Guilt. As my prospective partner, I expect you to uh, do some Another work with that. Trigger? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate. Absolutely. But first... I think it would be rude of us not... Ah, uh, no, no, no. The, the, the Krogan thing's going to start off a hell of a lot. Whereas the Turian Ark... I kind of want to get to the bottom of the Turian Ark. We need Ark back. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. Hello? Never met someone who wore so much dead stuff. Oh, got no ammo. Shit. Just not dead on the outside. Ah! 
Oh shit. No ammo, no ammo, no ammo. <laughs> oh, wait, drone. I'm an idiot. Right. Do they normally ammo shit around here? Kill that one. <laughs> I can't do shit. I don't want to melee this thing, it's huge. That's fine, that's fine. We really need some ammo, guys. Temperature range pathfinder. Okay, that's fine. So we just go on into the endless abyss that is the sands of Elan. Elan. Activate Elan. Elan's monolith. Investigate anomaly on Elan. All right, come on. It's about right, actually. We're Archangel uh, paint job, and we're going to get the Turian art. Hopefully, it crashed here. I don't want to say hopefully it crashed, but it's it'd be nice to have it. The escape pod's ejected from it, so I'm guessing it was crashing. I'm just going to kill a few people first. Look out! Right. There must be some ammo around here somewhere. Score here. Oh, I forgot I'd go invisible again after I kill someone. to see the scourge like that should we check it out i think maybe we can do this uh, fight first right we will check it out don't worry pick up this don't these things normally have ammo uh. No, I un- I- oh, I pressed it twice. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll let the civil war carry on while I try and find some ammo. I just realised I'm also cooking. Plan. Drack, kill it. Coming in up. Broken hammer. Okay, so they've got. Oh, oh. careful, Hydra. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> We picked up a Krogan Hammer 4, which we already have. Settlement Core, Quick Receiver. Okay. So that was a fight. 
These things have no ammo around them. And when you kill people, you can't pick up their ammo. Worst game ever. Uh, TJ, I'll come pick you up later. Right. Turian Arc. Really does feel like I'm gonna find the sand people on there. Uh... Damn. Stasis pods from Ark Natanus. Are any of them alive? It's difficult to obtain a clear reading on all pods at once. We should investigate. Shit, is this literally the whole arc has gone down? Fuck the scavengers! Didn't really help you out. That wasn't how you hammer. That's how you hammer. No life forms detected, Pathfinder. Pods keep them from smelling. Sam, we should have Mason's genetic profile in the initiative database. Let's check it against the pods. Oh, please, please, please say that their Pathfinder's not here. We are going to level up. Five points. Significant. Uh, shotguns, can't get combat fitness, we can get combat tools. Jump melee damage, jump melee area of effect is very good. Combat damage, bonus, uh, tech. Remnant VI, five points done. Uh, health or beam damage, we're doing beam damage. Zap is gonna fuck people up. Nope, I undid it, fantastic. Was that? Nope. Shit. Nope. Confirm these changes? No, I do not want to confirm these changes. Uh, I'll pay attention one day. Right. Beam damage. Confirm. Drac, two points. Uh, dabble in a flat cannon for me, would you? And PB, 11 points. Uh, shockwave. We're bringing Jack back. Shockwave distance, absolutely. And we need to do your personal mission for that one. So. Invasion's tech. Yeah, fuck it. Just invade everyone. Do 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 yourself. You, you do you, boo. Right. Okay, I parked my Mako on a Mako. Uh, right, so what are we scanning all these? Tarion. But not their pathfinder. Cause of death and sanguination. Scout scourge picked, pierced through the pod. Oh, lovely. No match. I'm trying to read what it actually says. Cause of death, starvation. And the inhabitant. Let's say. Cause of death, starvation. Fortunately for the inhabitant. Passed away in her sleep. Okay. It's too bright. It is too bright here. Come on. Let's, let's. Graphics. Green. Let's turn it down a little bit. Hopefully, get a little bit less glare. No, we still can't reach it off that. I'm sure you can. I can't on here. Perhaps a distant cousin. A distant cousin? Cause of death, cardiac arrest. Inhabitants' family had a history of heart failure, marked as a risk in status, but refused to be turned down. This one's got power. Cause of death, exposure. Pod was compromised when it made contact with the scourge. Help me get it open. Pathfinder, the body has no vitals. What about the pod itself? Sam, check the pod's history. According to the final log, this stasis pod was jettisoned from Ark Natanus. Because of the scourge? The timeline doesn't match. This pod was ejected long after Natanus was reported missing. Then why evacuate? These stasis pods were dumped for a reason. Could have been dead already. We should finish checking the pods for Mason, then report back to Avidus. Right, 
Subject is a child. Subject is too old. Cause of death, blunt force trauma, presumably from the pod entering atmosphere. Inhabitant was physically more feeble than other Turians, other Turian survivals we have encountered. Not Mason Barrow. Blunt force trauma killed upon impact with Elevin surface. Too many variations in the genome. Cerebral hemorrhage. None of the pods match Mason Barrow, Pathfinder. Hopefully that means he's still alive. Well, didn't he say that if he dies, Sam automatically passes over to the other dude? So we'd know if he was dead. Okay. Let's go see a man about a Krogan. Then we've got a lot to head back to. I think next uh, episode might actually just be me, sort of. They kill on sight, destroying the Angara, the smell. All of the above. And I know I'm onto something with the Remnant. I can feel it. I want to piece it all together, Drac. I have to. But the Ket being here, they could ruin everything. Look, I didn't expect such a nasty enemy here either, and I don't have a lot of time. I'll give you the same advice I give myself. What's that? Work faster. <laughs> Perfect advice, man. Love it. Right, come on. We're off to New York to check out. Our climbing pathfinder. Pick up some speed. Come on, boys. didn't die when I hit it in a Mako, I'm not staying to find out what it was. still pissed off at the Nexus. You'll want to be careful around her, kid. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. Amazing's about right. Maybe crazy. No, that's hella impressive. My god, Krogans are actually good. Should bring Tan down here. There you go, Tan. There's your hopeless, pointless Krogan. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Feel like we should. Uh, Life support is back online. Park up. Like me when I three point park. Can't do it for shit. There we go. Okay. We parked up. Absolutely fine. Hello. Could have known Morta would take over. She'll run this place into the ground. Bad karma naming it New Tachanka. Okay. So the A1 game plan here for us is to get the Krogan back. New Tachanka coming up. Is it? I can't get in. Damn, look at the sky. Hello? I guess we've got to go around that way. Okay, that's fine. They're, they're booting us out of the front entrance. We've got to go inside now. But we're not breaking in. I'd like to make that very, very clear. Okay. Yep, sure. What? Nope, that's not what I want. Uh... 
How the hell do I get in then? So head in here. There's a door. Am I loot? Am I, am I going crazy here? Do we just not have a mission to go here or something? Uh, allies. Talk to Sam on the Tempest. Helios assignments on Elodin. Go to the Krogan colony. Right. We are at the Krogan colony. We have now left the Krogan colony. I'm so confused. I mean, hey, the Krogan are successfully defended. They are protecting their home against the Pathfinder. It's a door. I'm supposed to be able to go through doors. Okay. Are we... Can I talk to you guys? Like... Oh, there's a car. We'll take that. Krogan vehicle. Uh, vehicle has survived multiple collisions. Internal structure weakened due to constant sand integration. Yep, that's fair. Drac, what do we do? How do we get in? I want to go there. That's where I want to be. I just can't break in. <laughs> Invisible wall is stopping me. Okay, I clearly have missed something here. Is that not the front door? Do I have to go in a different way? Is this the front door here? Right, okay. <laughs> Whoops. Pathfinder, I detect scavenger constructs ahead. Heat levels increasing. Scavenger constructs. Well, let's have a look. I've identified a data pad in this location, Pathfinder. Okay. A little mouse. Stumbled on small roaming gang today. Mentioned they were headed to watch little mouse work his magic. Said he's the chosen one to lead us all to glory, that if you give him a gift, he protects you from the heat. You can bet I took note of that. This little mouse has a mouse has a tidy pile of goodies in his camp. Think I'll follow that bunch of idiots and see how it plays out. This sounds like trouble already. Yeah. Oh, hello. Communications antenna. We'll get all of that. And a container with Omnigel and shotgun ship. Right. Nice little haul. Now, after I've been banging on the back door, can we go in the front door? Activating automated forward station deployment. That would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. <laughs> Oh, I'm an idiot. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Sup, Crow Bros? Move along. No outsiders. But Drac! He's with me, human Pathfinder. 
Drac. It's been a while. Jorgel Strux sent me. I'm supposed to talk with Morda. So now Strux is friends with the Nexus. Traitor. Think I'm a traitor too. Shut it, Breck. Let us in, Krogan. Hey, we can be friends. No, we've got to be stern out here. These are the lowly lookouts. Let us in, Krogan. Don't make me headbutt you. I absolutely will. Uh, tougher than you look. All right, go ahead. I'll spread the word so Morda knows you're here. Good. And I would also like to say thank you very much for not calling my bluff, because I would have killed myself if I headbutted you. Pathfinder must think he's pretty tough to just stroll in here. Wonder how long he'd last in a real fight. They're testing Seconds, you. I assure you. Take the bait. Yeah, I'll take a bait. Got a Krogan hammer, bitch. It's probably hollowed out and carbon fiber, but. Straight through an old ship. Not a scratch on it. Some think it's invincible. Doubt it. Not to a Krogan. One. Soft, squishy human like you should probably steer clear of the wildlife out there. Well, have you known I killed lots of animals? something about a worm? Not a worm. The worm. Huge. Invincible. You can't miss it. It pops out of the dunes from time to time. Plows down everything in its path. Is it dangerous? Oh, great. As if this planet wasn't deadly enough. Good news is, it doesn't attack us. It doesn't seem to care about us at all. Right. But stay out of its way. It'll barrel right through you, tear you to pieces. Thanks for the heads up. Calling it now, we're going to try and uh, break into that remnant massive ship. We're not going to be able to, and we're going to have to lure the worm over to it. Dr. O'Kear's data was right next to the scrubbed ones. Don't worry, Dr. Gunnar. I'll track it down. Hello, Krogan geneticist. Uh, hello. I, I noticed you were listening. Uh, is it because you're a fan of the Krogan genius, Dr. O'Kear? I'm frantic because a terminal with all his research was accidentally sold to a junker. Um, no. Maybe? What was on it? His work regarding Krogan physiology and the genophage was advanced. I was his protege. Uh, or, uh, I was acquainted with his protege. <laughs> anyway, it's encrypted. But it would be bad if it fell into the wrong hands. I can give you a nav point and the name of the scavenger I accidentally sold it to. Who was Dr. O'Kear? And why on earth would it be bad that potentially somebody has the ability to make Captain America Krogans? You talk about Dr. O'Kear like I should know who that is. Dr. O'Kear was on the leading edge of Krogan genetics and possibly curing the genophage. And not using the slow genetic mutation approach the initiative has invested in. I have, I had a collection of his research. I hope to cure the genophage in the colony. Don't cure it. Send me the nav point in the terminal identification. Done. I hope it's still on the planet. The junker was aggressive. Oh, that's fine. I can kill aggressive people. I'm more concerned by the fact that, uh, yeah, because his whole thing was I'll inflict upon the genophage the worst insult you can give to an enemy to ignore them. Offer Varen Jerky by Corton Ewoods. Yes, real genuine Varen Jerky, just like your Battlemaster used to make. It's the kind of jerky you can put between your lip and gum during a fight and the smell of blood mixes with the taste of salt and sends you into blood rage that much faster. We'll be taking offers all week, serious inquiries only. I mean, would that work? Use use beef jerky as a gum shield so that the blood and salt stings and sends you into a blood rage. I mean, do you... Yeah, Krogan. Krogan, man. Offer weapon repair upgrades by Karis Jinsen Look. Got a weapon that uses special parts and isn't worth paying for expensive repairs on? I've got a custom microfabricator and several hundred years experience of getting old guns firing again. Maybe you need a chemical spine augmentation on the stock, or maybe an internal reskin of your barrel can help your firearm stop pulling to the right and give you the accuracy that you remember. My microfabricator uses polymer printing to form interlocking bricks that can be adapted to any shape. Might not be pretty, but will get you shooting again. Bring your old guns and something to offer. 
Wanted ingredients for gingerbread cookies. 100%. I am. This is the mission we're going on. This is what we need to do. I had these before we went into cryo, and I can't stop thinking about them. Pretty sure I got the name right. They're either Asari or human, and they don't taste like much at first, just kind of sweet. But then they burn the back of your mouth after you swallow. I need more! <laughs> this is like me. I wrote down the recipe, but there's some stuff I can't get here. Ginger. I guess it's a plant. Nutmeg. Not a nut, also a plant. Cloves. Part of a hoofed animal. Oh, no, no, no. Cinnamon. I have no idea what this is. Maybe misspelling it. Think it's a shelled animal. <laughs> oh, God. The cloven hooves. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> yep, you can make cookies out of them. And Krogan, you'll be able to eat it, to be fair. That's fine. Find a known order to take over. She'll run this place into the ground. Bad karma naming it New Tachanka. I mean, you do kind of look like the Krogan Power Rangers, to be fair. Uh, anywhere else? We yes, we want to. We want to go straight. We want to see what that question mark is. It's a shop. How much you want? Any luck out there? Got a few shuttle parts out by Hell's Promise. Stupid. Eyes. Nothing good. Can't even dodge. Right, Barrack. Well, look at that. Not one of those damn scavengers, are you? No way. I'm a Pathfinder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. That's worse. Oh, shit. Look, you want to buy? Talk to my seller. I hired him so I don't have to deal with the customers. Why are you here? Uh, what's your opinions on the Nexus, though? I'm sure I'm your best friend. The Nexus is paradise compared to this. You don't want to go back? Even a little? So we can be your attack dogs again? Get treated like dirt until we finally fight back? This is no different than the rebellion back home. Only time we get respect is when we take it by force. We were stupid to think it would be any different here. It's hard to have any form of complaint over that because it's 100% true. You talk like you saw the rebellions. You can't be as old as Drac. You can be. What's that supposed to mean? I was born during the final year, just before the Turians hit us with the genophage. My father died in the fight on Canrum. Took two dozen Turian guns to drop him. I'm glad he didn't live to see us riding in cargo on the Nexus like pets. That's fair. So what's your opinion on the scavengers then? Bet the scavengers are crawling all over the salvage you pick up. Not too bad. I picked my scrap out in Anoraxia, where squishies like you can't handle the heat. I don't get too close to the flop house. Scavengers gather there like insects. Can't defend my salvage against those numbers. Look at me. I was a warrior. And now I fight vermin over a junk heap. Well, when I'm in charge, you'll be invited with open arms back to the Nor uh, back to the Normandy, back to the Nexus. I should get moving. I'll be here, selling junk. So, the way I see it is that all of the arcs latch onto the Nexus and provide power and obviously a massive area to live on. I mean, everyone that's got an arc gets... It's difficult, really, isn't it? Because uh, Krogan don't have their own arc. They were just brought along. Um, no, I think they should pro probably share. The lowest numbers that were brought, or that are left over, share with the Krogan, and that's their home arc. They get to run that however they like. Everyone gets their own Pathfinder, bit. welcome. You don't welcome an alien into our colony, you ignorant child. Jesus. Shut up, old man. Sorry about that. Don't mind him. Credits are credits, I say. Wise approach. Your business won't get far if you only sell to Krogan. He's more concerned with proving a point than growing his clientele. Good thing he has me. Now buy something before he starts yelling again. <laughs> I'm sure I will, except I'm broke. So I'm going to sell to you a bunch of junk. The Venom Shotgun. Powerful semi-automatic shotgun fires explosive rounds and after a short charging period unleashes clusters of micro-grenades that rebound off obstacles. Solarian Special Task Group designed the Venom for missions into hostile territory and extraction operatives. Okay, so you've got nothing except the Venom. I'm not going to buy it. Uh, so have a lovely day, but... Good to know that you're happy to sell to me. 
nice to finally breathe fresh air. Hello? What's that around your face? Pathfinder, when you travel, do you meet many Angara? Yes. Sometimes? Should have brought one. Have you met one named Lietta? I don't think so. Why? She was a salvager, made runs to Elidan all the time. When she landed, she would always stop here first. We climbed the dunes together, took in the view, talked for hours. Lietta had a hard time in this heat, so I said I'd make her a cryo bracelet. Were you guys... Were you too? You know, we were friends. At least I thought so. Oh, okay. One day she just stopped coming. I don't know where she is, if I'll ever see her again. Uh, could she be in trouble? You think something happened to her? She could have taken a new job. Maybe she was sick of Elodin. True. But if there's even a chance she ran into trouble, I can't stand not knowing. Uh, what's she like? Tell me more about Lietta. She's adventurous, optimistic. Her jokes could make a Krogan blush. In a place like this, she stood out. I think she'd stand out anywhere. Well, yeah, let me help. 100%. I could track her down for you. Make sure she's okay. Salvager at the Paradise might know something. I would like that. If you find her, will you give her the cryo bracelet? Tell her she can use it to visit me again. Thank you, Pathfinder. You are not like the other Krogan, because a cryo bracelet kind of just sounds like you've magically enchanted a bracelet to have heat resistance. Like, are you are you from D&D? You seem different from the other Krogan. <laughs> My father called me a Salarian in a Krogan body. Supposed to be an insult. Joke's on him, though. I like Salarians. Oh, I like this dude. Why are you alone? Well, because you act like that, I guess. What but... are you doing up here? Looking. Back home, we didn't have time to just stop and look. Is life that different here? It was all about survival. Here, we don't have to fight so hard. Of course, the older ones still think they have to fight. Maybe it's just in their blood. They'll come around. <laughs> They'll come around. So does that mean that, like, the new age of of Krogan, the new youngsters coming through, they're going to be nothing like the old older guys that are just fighting all the time. We could actually have diplomatic Krogan. You like it here. Sounds like Helios was an easy choice for you. New galaxy, new life. Not interested in being a merc like my father, or battling it out on Tachanka. I almost didn't want to be packed into cryo for the journey. Wanted to see the whole thing. Would have been pretty lonely. Never been bothered by loneliness. The views would have been worth it. Well, I like you, and I will vote you into power. I should get going. What are you, Rorik? Question, Valonia. Okay, so, yeah, we've got that. We've got to find La Lahita, Queen Latifa, Lajata, something like that. Mm, nope, going back. Because I almost missed this. <laughs> Building regulations from Gulnaz Bin. Hey everyone, as we continue building new structures, remember that building is like firing your shotgun into a pack of Varen. Adjust your safety first. We don't want to focus on the cons, so let's have a proversation. Oh my god. This is literally like the fun guy that comes and teaches you. Hey guys, we don't want to focus on the cons, so let's have a proversation about safety. Please wear helmets while building unless you really don't want to. Oh, okay, well, this health and safety guy doesn't normally say that. Don't use the welding torches for tattoos unless you're sure it's something you want on your skin forever. Quit stealing supplies. We've got computers. We know you're doing it and we'll shoot you. Only add guns to things the plans say should have guns on them. Don't fire your guns in the air in celebration unless you shout that you're going to do so beforehand. Thank you. I mean, to be fair, that's a lot. <laughs> that's Krogan health and safety, I guess. Turret upgrades. This would be good to know. From Wix Scarron. Warlord Morda told me to upgrade the turrets before I left for Apex training, so I'm going to be pouring a little fire on them to make sure you're not crying like a Volus with a busted suit as soon as I leave. 
Keep your IFFs up to date. I'm going to be firing off test rounds, and I don't want my little gun friends to mistake you for a cat. Also, making requests. Anybody want cryo ammo in these? Maybe in incendiary? Let me know if you want to shatter your enemies or just laugh while they roll around trying to put themselves out. Also, also, any kills the turrets get count as mine for the colony standards. Community, Krant the Ragening. <laughs> Imagine that you're a proud warrior fighting for your people at the height of the Rachni War, when the ancient spirits of Tachanka awaken and spread through the galaxy. Some are changed, gaining magical powers and a tie to the homeworld through the blood of Kalros herself, while others become horrible monsters. Can you conquer the beasts within and save the galaxy? Join us in Krant the Ragening, a live-action roleplay experience for Krogan who want to combine collaborative storytelling with light, non-lethal combat. All you need is any dice roller app, the light show Omnitool utility, dummy ammo for any gun you bring, and your own imagination. Meet friends and have fun in a supportive environment. Contact Poster for information on meetup times. Yes! Yes! Fuck yes, Dungeons and Dragons meets Krogan LARPing. I am 100% into that. Grant the Ragening. I am I am making a module for D&D 5e. I'm doing that. Grant the Ragening. I am so going to be making that as a uh, a campaign or a module. Oh, we need to see that in action. How is that not a DLC? Oh, that, that's that's it. That, that's all I want. I mean, how can you top that? I, I think we're at two hours. I think that's got to be the last bit of the, the, uh, the film. Hear about the Nexus wanting us back? <laughs> so the Squishies finally realized they're screwed out here. Well, it's going to take a lot more than oops, my bad to scratch out what they did. Yeah, that's fair. Oops, my bad. Sorry, you can come back. No, the, that is... That is awesome. First of all, I really like this planet. It's not too hot, which is good. It's not Hailstrom, Hel Hellstrom, uh, hot, which is uh, yep, thumbs up for that. But uh, all I can think of is Krogan D and D. It's like I roll for combat, eighteen to hit, eighteen hits. I load my gun and shoot you. <laughs> These little bean bags that come out and smash people in the face. Ah. Oh. All I can think of right now. And what better way to end, to be perfectly honest with you. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. There's probably a load of people here that do not watch d and I'm sorry, this joke's for me. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> that's all I can think of. So, have a fantastic week. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.